friend. Welcome back to the cottage. And welcome to your Reiki session today. This session is all about clarity. Clarifying what you want. It's that first step of analysis. So we're going to be clarifying what we want so that we can move more easily and fluidly towards the life of our dreams. So just sit back, relax, and allow this healing to wash over you. I really want the the focus of this for you to be just opening yourself up to messages. If something comes in for you throughout this session, I want you to trust that you're supposed to receive that message right now. So if you get this message that's saying, oh, apply for this job, go for a walk in this neighborhood, do this thing, reach out to this person, try your best to really listen to those messages. Maybe write them down. And then we don't want to act on impulse but just aligning ourselves and taking in these messages can start to open up our connection with our inner guidance and inner wisdom and the sort of whispers from our future self who in that quantum leap is already living our dream life and she or he or they or them is just whispering, hey, this is the way, this is the way, this is the So we're going to begin with a little bit of sound healing. I have a really beautiful Koshi chime here that we're going to use. And I just want to invite in this sense of serenity. So our last session, one of our previous sessions was about trust. It was about laziness. Like, are you somebody who identifies as being lazy? And so this session is all about taking all of those ideas in that session, recognizing that these projections that you're casting onto yourself, it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy to say to yourself, I am somebody who, I am somebody who is really bad at this. I'm somebody who never gets what they want. I'm I'm just somebody who... I'm not good at that. I'm not good at this. I don't do that very well. I'm not that type of person. I I think that's weird. That's not for me. Blah, blah, blah. We're just starting to say, okay, I open myself up to the possibility that there's something different. Because when we speak these things into existence, when we say to ourselves, this is who I am. I am somebody who never gets what I want, let's say. I don't get that. I'm not lucky like that. I'm not lucky like that. You might think with this kind of fixed mindset that you are maybe being humble, but to think about it from a perspective of I know that where I am right now is not where I want to be. Looking at it just from that foundation, that takes a great deal of humility to say, you know what? I've lived this long and this is where I am. And I just keep, I keep getting rejected or I keep getting this or I keep getting this. Maybe it's possible that the way you're speaking to yourself is just really firming in all of these beliefs. Because if you don't believe you're capable of doing something, the likelihood that you're going to push through the challenges that it takes to actually get good at that thing or to succeed in that realm, they're very it's very slim. The world isn't going to support you in that way in terms of, you know, people have their own agendas, everyone's moving through their own experience. You might be really fortunate in your life to have cheerleaders and the support system, and that's incredible. But 
we can't really depend on that right from the outside we have to look on the inside to find that the universe has our back looking to our spiritual practice for that support is so valuable so when we are embarking on this new thing recognizing that we have to trust the process trust that each little step is just compounding and amplifying and as you make a good decision today just a small decision transformation isn't about the big decisions we make in our lives transformation is about deciding the life we want to live and then embarking on small shifts that will compound and lead to huge transformation we often think big big shifts day to day will lead to giant transformation and small shifts won't do anything and it's really the opposite giant shifts is just a recipe for giving up feeling overwhelmed feeling overburdened not listening to your internal signals not giving yourself the space to have room for life to come up bad days car breaks down um a breakup whatever it is emotional responses to the world around us if we don't give ourselves permit we're on our cycle or if we're feeling ill or if one of our kids gets sick or our partner gets sick we have to give ourselves space and room but if we dedicate to say i dedicate this next chapter in my life to making small decisions that i know will have a positive outcome for me every single day i'm going to make those small decisions that's going to be the huge shift here the first things first we have to look at where we want to go dreaming you know i have so many videos on that but dreaming where do you want to go where do you want your life to be really connecting with that and then being really clear and honest with ourselves about where we are now this is where i am now okay and you have to have the fortitude to say this is not fixed just because i'm here doesn't mean i'll always be here and recognizing that if we choose to get sucked into negative self-talk or negative self-belief or doubt or questioning because we've analyzed where we are we're really closing all those doors for that growth and every single person who you've seen in your life or anyone who has transformed has to go through this process and the process involves accepting where we are and saying oh wow taking in that self-awareness and saying this is where i am right now Ooh, that's not where i wanted to be and processing that accepting that if it's necessary forgiving yourself because we all we've all been through this we've all you know nobody is perfect we've all been through this we've all been through these moments these real epiphanies of this is not where i thought i would be or oh i this isn't the life i want or how did i end up here <laughs> so just say to yourself this is part of the process me analyzing myself isn't a step backward when i recognize that i'm not as far along as i want to be that's 50 100 steps forward because before you looked at that you were continuing to bury yourself in denial and dissociation disconnection and bury yourself and shroud yourself from the life of your dreams now you've removed all of that and you're seeing clearly maybe for the first time so you want to take stock of that where do you want to be health wise where are you health wise be really clear about it where are you health wise where do you want to be in terms of your career and then be really honest and look at where you are right now where are you with your finances are you comfortable in your finances responsible do you know about your finances or are you kind of like 
playing ostrich syndrome and just ignoring everything and living in denial about the way your actions have impacted your finances. That's okay. Listen, there's no shame here. There's no shame. It's beautiful and powerful that you're starting this process. But if we want to transform, we have to invite in awareness. We have to look at our choices and our actions with a critical eye, not in terms of criticizing ourselves, but just saying, ah, okay, objectively I can see that what I'm doing is not compounding in the right direction. Our actions will compound. So if we're doing, making little decisions every day that are not in service of that version of ourselves that we want to embody, those are going to compound. If our actions are in alignment, those are going to compound. So these little actions that we take every single day, which we have control over, that's what either builds the life of your dreams or pulls you away from it. And I look at this as very, very inspiring because it means that day to day, the work is in here, but it's not actually hard, typically. The little things that we have to do in order to be more in alignment with, you know, healthy finances, healthy body, healthy mind, healthy relationships, those little steps that we have to take, a lot of the times it's a simple, simple action. It's not like rocket science. It's just small, simple steps in the right direction instead of small, simple steps in the wrong direction. But we can't know where we want, where we need to go, unless we figure out what we want, what our heart wants. So that's really what we're calling in here. So let's dream together for a moment. We'll focus on the dream state, right? We're not going to make any plans. We're not going to make a routine that's 50 steps long before we even, you know, start our day. We're just going to look at, we're going to look first at what we want, the life we want. We'll do that. But the next step is going to be looking at where we are now, baldly, with clarity. Where am I now? Where am I now? Then we're going to set up a few different systems for ourselves. We're going to set up a system that is an ideal system, routine, morning routine perhaps, that is exactly everything is in the direction of what we want to do drinking some green tea, meditating, going for a short little walk or working out, texting someone that we love and telling them something that we're really grateful for about them, texting maybe a friend or a coworker and just saying, I really appreciate this about you or that about you, having a gratitude practice, Starting with things that we need, know we need to do for, for work first off, eating healthy food, the ideal kind of list. And then we're going to go in and create another list. And that second list is going to be the bare minimum things that we know we need to do, absolutely need to do, the, the must-dos. And this is going to be a very short, very simple list. So I know that I need to meditate for two minutes in the morning. I know that I need to, or 30 seconds, just take time every single day to connect with my inner world. 
I know that I need to eat a healthy breakfast. So if that means that I have a quick smoothie or a banana or whatever it is instead of my The, in, in those moments, let's say you're really drawn to you want to pick up a McDonald's, let's say, or something like that. Um, just recognize, okay, that's not something I'm going to do. I'm going to make the small choice to say, I'm going to have some toast with banana and peanut butter instead today. It's the, the bare minimum. And you, you decide that for yourself, obviously. <laughs> but just thinking about, okay, for every aspect Name one thing that you are must-haves for you. So what's your must-do for health every day? Is that going for a 10-minute walk? What's your must-do for your mental health? Is that a one- to two-minute meditation? Gotta do it. Is that a, you know, I write down three things I'm grateful for, quick and easy. That's the bare minimum, but I have to do that every day. Is it, I take care of my skincare basics, wash my face, put on some moisturizer, whatever it is. What are those basics for you that help you feel like you're still on the right path, still on track? What is it for your relationships? Maybe you're not able to text and call these people, but maybe when you're really tempted to react when someone does something, instead, it's just today, I'm not going to react. I will only respond. I'm not going to react out of anger. I'm not going to react when I'm triggered or activated. That's my dedication to myself today. Bare minimum, I'm not going to react out of when I'm when I'm unaligned. I will realign and then I'll respond. That, you know, if you did those things, I go for a, a you know, five to ten minute walk every day. I have a gratitude practice and I never, I vow to myself, I make a promise with myself to never react when I'm activated. If you do those three small things on your list, on your bare minimum list, if you just do those three things, your whole life will change. <laughs> Especially if you're you're not doing anything, but those things are so important and they've been studied and you know, just the importance of a gratitude practice, the importance in your relationships when you're not kind of projecting um, that activation onto somebody else and then walking, moving our bodies every single day is huge. So come up with your bare minimum that you can do even when you're not feeling super well even maybe when you're on your cycle, even maybe when you're when you're when you didn't get a good night's sleep. Have that and then have your ideal list. And that way you can kind of oscillate between the two, recognizing and following your own inner flow and guidance. So that's the system. It's very practical. You can do this. It's very practical. So let's start with the dreaming. Let's start with dreaming. So from here on out, we're just going to be focusing on the energy work, focusing on going inward. Take a moment. What does your dream life look like? What does the dream version of yourself look like? What does their day look like? What are their hobbies? What does their morning look like? What's their bank account look like? These are dreams. These are your dreams. Don't cut yourself off before you begin. What does their bank account look like? Money is energy. It's just energy. It's just an extension of whatever you have going on. It's just energy. It's just flow. So what is, what is your relationship? What is their relationship with money like? this ideal version of yourself. What 
What do their relationships look like? What does their romantic relationship look like? What is their romantic life like? What is what are their relationships with their family? What are their relationships with their friends? And it doesn't matter what other people's ideas are. This is your time to dream. So often we don't even give ourselves permission to dream. Giving ourselves permission to dream. Oh, it would be so nice even to say, if I didn't have to connect with that person that makes me feel so bad. Gosh, that would be so nice. Okay, so then in your dream reality, that person isn't there? You don't have to worry about how that's going to happen. We're just dreaming now, but you just say, oh, okay. Maybe you'll set some boundaries. Maybe you'll step away from situations where you know that they'll participate. Maybe you'll let them know the way they impact you, whatever it is. But in your dream life, that's all we're focusing on here is what's your dream life like? What's your dream life like? Is there something that you've always wanted? to do or have and you've never really allowed yourself to do or have that thing? What is that? What's your health like? What's your activity level like? What's their energy like? What's this future version of you? What's their energy like? Because that's really what this is. This isn't about the ideal version of yourself floating separately. This is your future self presenting themselves to you. You are connecting to your intuition. This is the messages that I'm talking about. This is what I'm drawn to. This is what's coming up for me. This is what's feeling resonant for me. Oh wow, in this dream state, this feels really exciting or this feels really chase the wow follow the wow don't worry about the how just follow the wow wow that would be so fun wow that would be so cool be so cool to work for myself wow wow be so amazing to be able to run a mile wow be so fun to be able to chase my kids around the yard. Wow. Wow. Wow, that would be so cool. What's your energy level like? Do you have sustained energy throughout the day? Do you have supportive friendships? Do you have friendships who make you laugh? You make laugh. You can sit together and be with each other. You support, support you. Get really into just feeling out what all this feels like, how it all feels for you, how it all feels, how it's sitting with you. This is like the yummy, fun work. How's it sitting? How does it feel? This is your time to dream, just dreaming. The version of yourself that has everything that you're dreaming of right now, they already exist. They already exist. In our last session, we talked about trust. Trusting the process. Trusting these little steps. They already exist. They're already here. We have to trust that as well. With every time we make a decision, that is for that more aligned self, we bridge that gap and move the future self closer to us with every decision. 
with every decision for instant gratification, we push ourselves farther away. And every time that we move out of alignment from that version of ourselves that we want to embody, every time we just take a tiny step in this direction, we're amplifying that energy outward instead of amplifying our energy toward, instead of being magnetically pulled and pulling that future self to us. We're just turning that magnet the other way and polarizing that and drawing ourselves closer to this version that we aren't fulfilled by. So now is when we're going to begin to look really deeply at ourselves, look really deeply within. This is some aura mist, rosemary and tea tree. Rosemary is great for healing in the mental plane. Beautiful for clarity. So the most important thing here is that we are not inviting shame into this dialogue. This isn't about shame. This isn't about beating yourself up for not being where you want to be. This is just about looking forward, recognizing the power of process and progress. Shifting into that growth mindset instead of the fixed mindset. We're going to begin with this Kambaba Jasper. I love using this stone for support during transformation. It's a great heart-based stone healing in the Anahata Chakra. So we're placing this right here. When we are shifting, when we are transforming, when we are changing, we have to be open to newness. And you don't need to feel bad if that feels scary for you. You just have to recognize how amazing you are for having the courage to do things differently. It's incredible. So that's super supportive, okay? I'm going to put this malachite here. This is a great stone for, you can use it for connecting with nature, it's great. You can also use the stone for manifestation, for attracting the life of your dreams, for abundance and prosperity. I also like to really use this stone for shifting shifting perspectives, shifting where your energy is, and inviting something new. Very powerful stone. Another heart-based stone. But you can shift that energy, shift it. Invite a new energy here. Shifting, shifting, shifting. Place that right there. Red Garnet, great stone for manifestation, great stone for really connecting with those inner desires and trusting that you can have them, trusting that if they present themselves to you, it's because they're already on their way. They're in your sphere of possibility. If you've been given, you know, this intuitive glimpse into what you want. And we're going to come into the mental plane with this peach selenite. Happy, joyful stone, wonderful stone for clarity. So we're going to use this in the mental plane. Good. 
So where are you right now? Where are you? Look at all those categories, all the aspects that you want to call in, maybe even your home, where you live, you know, what's that feel like for you right now? Where do you want to be with that? We looked at all of that, and so... We're just being really clear and really honest with ourselves in a very loving way, in a, in a way that's like, oh, I deserve to live the life of my dreams, so this is part of the process, me recognizing where I am right now, okay? I'm just recognizing that. I want you to just be kind to yourself, okay? Be really kind to yourself while you look at this, because it can be hard, it can be hard. Especially if you grew up in a home and you, where you were maybe criticized a lot. It can be kind of hard to start to look at this without feeling that shame, but it's so important to be able to self-evaluate. It's so important to have that self-awareness. So that's what we're inviting in here. Self-awareness awareness of what we do and the impact it has on all aspects of our life and the impact it has on others and the impact it has on ourselves, on how we see ourselves, how we view ourselves. So take a moment here. I'm just going to place this right here. Take a moment here and really start to look with as much clarity as possible at where you are right now. Honesty. But kindness as well. We're integrating these aspects. Pulling our head out from under the sand and really looking at our lives and saying, where am I and where do I want to be? Okay. And again, this is not the time to start to think about the how. You're not setting the steps in place just yet. We're just looking at what's going on. Just looking at where we are. Oh, okay. This is where I am. taking stock. You're just taking inventory. And anytime shameful thoughts come up, we're just batting them away, okay? We're just going to bat them away. I have this selenite one here. We're just going to bat these. Any negative thoughts away, we're just batting them away. But I want you to do this work, and if you want to carry this work out into your day, I really hope you do. Journal, write it down. Okay, this is where I am. This is where I want to be. Get really clear on where you want to be. Get so crystal clear on where you want to be. And then just be really honest with yourself about where you are. And specific. Be as specific as you can. And we're looking at this as an evaluation, not a roast. It's not a judgment session. It's just, oh, okay, here's where I am right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's far from where I want to be. I didn't realize it was that far. Okay. Okay. <sighs> but it's okay. This is all part of the process. So now, now that you maybe have taken some time, and you can always pause and come back, but now that you've taken some time to evaluate, all right, where am I, where am I, what's going on? Now we are going to develop, develop a routine, develop rituals, right? Develop rituals. Rituals just feel so much more indulgent. It doesn't feel like a tough, hard, vigilant, have to. 
It's more like I get to do this beautiful ritual. I get to do this incredible thing for myself. So what does that look like for you? Develop, like I said, one aspect that is very full and ideal. An ideal ritual for yourself. The non-negotiables, all of that delicious energy that's just so when you're in that vibe of being wanting to change your life and things like that this is that version this is the version of your ritual your morning routine your evening routine your day that you really think about okay yeah whatever that looks like for you right so i gave a few examples earlier But I really want this to be yours. I want you to develop this for yourself, what this looks like. Because this is all just about your process and your experience, right? And if you clicked on this session and you're still here, then it's because you want a shift. You want to open up to a shift, right? I think shifts are amazing and important all throughout our lives. And constantly checking in with where we are and where we want to be, I think is really So no matter where you are, I think it's valuable. But I want this to be for you. This is so self-catered. This is curated to your life. You know, you cultivate the life of your dreams. But now start to think, okay. And you can even take some time and write this down. Journal. What's going on here for me? Where am I? Where do I want to be? Okay, got those. What is it that I need to do on a daily basis to move more in the direction of that? All the little steps. So for example, if you want to be debt free, let's say, I don't know if that's your goal, if it is, okay? If your goal is to be debt free and you are, you know, looking at how much debt you have, making a decision to say, okay, this is how much I'm going to put aside every single month. Every single month, I'm going to put aside this much money. So what I'm going to do in order to facilitate that is I'm going to do, I'm going to budget and shift some things around so that that becomes more of a priority, whatever it is for you, right? If it's not about get, you know becoming debt-free, Maybe it's your goal for your health. I want you to cover every aspect here that you want to shift. So in your health, for your health, let's say that ideal version of yourself is going to work out, let's say, four or five times a week. Let's say that's the ideal version of that. You want to have that done, okay. Okay. That's the ideal version that goes on your ideal list, right? And that's the plan. I'm going to follow this. That's what I'm going to follow, right? Relationships. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell my partner that I love them every single day. I'm going to tell them something sweet and cute that I love that they did yesterday. I'm going to tell them things that I appreciate them, appreciate in them every single day. I'm going to rela- read a... Um, be reading relationship books, watching relationship videos on YouTube. I'm going to be understanding and learning about their wants and needs. I'm going to ask them questions and really listen to them. I'm going to prioritize spending time with them. I'm going to give them little, little gifts here and there. Maybe if you're on the debt-free journey, you're going to give them little gifts that are free. (laughs) I'm going to come by and put a hand on their shoulder and say, I think you did such a great job today. With your friendships, checking in, asking how they're doing, showing interest in them, supporting them. We could go on and on and on and on and on and on, you know, but... I want this to be specific for you. This is you catering to yourself here, right? It's catering to your experience. 
Then we're going to make the other list, right? This is when I'm not feeling well. So this is the main list over here. This is the, like, absolute must-dos. This is the non-negotiables. So if you're working to pay off debt, let's say your number here is $500 a month that you're putting there, $1,000 a month, who knows? Let's say your non-negotiable is that I'm putting $100 every single month towards my debt. That's your non-negotiable. Reaching out, texting friends, being in touch with them, whatever that is for you. Let's say once a month, I am going to go and meet up with a friend. That's the non-negotiable. Meeting up with a friend once a month. That's the non-negotiable. Let's say these are monthly and I like to do daily ones because those are, they, they're more build, building that habit of consistency, which is the most important thing for change. So with working out, with moving your body, my example before about like, you know, taking a 10 minute walk, that's your non-negotiable list. Let's say that you are, your goal is like I said before, maybe four to five times a week going to the gym. Your new goal is about every single day I move my body. Whether that's something that I really like to do is if I notice that I've been sitting for too long, I get up and dance, I get up and move. A lot of times I'm sitting here editing these videos for you lovely people. And I, and I you know, I'm seated when I'm doing that. And so getting up, getting up regularly at least once an hour to move, to stretch. I like to have a yoga mat laid out in front of me when I'm working so that I can just get up, stretch, stretch my back, move my body a little bit throughout the day. That can be really helpful. So what is that? What are the non-negotiables for you? It could be, you know, today I, you know, every single day I um, take the stairs instead of taking the elevator. Every single day I park a little bit farther away and I walk a little bit so that I get that get a little bit more movement in, whatever it is. I bike to work, I walk to my friend's house, whatever it is. Just getting this moving in, getting this flow in, and having these sort of non-negotiables for yourself that you're building in that muscle of repetitive action, consistency. Consistency is so key. So write out these two lists, write out these two formulas of rituals, of vows to yourself. I vow to do this for myself. And be really clear about your why. Because once you know why you're doing something, it's so much easier to make those small little steps and trust the process and all of that because you know the direction you're heading in, right? Okay. Okay, my dear, so we've envisioned the life of our dreams. We know where it is that we want to go. We know where we are right now, right? And we know the small steps that we're going to take, the rituals that we have in place to get there. Now, the fourth step here. The fourth step is all about opening yourself up to the magic of the universe. So this is deeply connected to trust. We've healed and balanced in the root chakra, but now we're really opening ourselves up to trust. In our previous session, we talked about how the root chakra and the crown chakra are both associated with trust. So now we're just opening up this channel of trust in the universe. Trusting that now that we have shifted all of these things, once we have all of this work that's been done, this energetic work of this is what I want, 
This is where I am. This is the steps that I vow to take to get there. And really, it's not about the specific steps. It's about the momentum. It's about that mental shift that says, I'm worthy of this. I'm deserving of this. I'm deserving of living the life of my dreams. I can have everything I want. I'm calling this in. Powerful, owning your power, empowerment, being in your fullness, taking up space and just owning your life, taking responsibility for your life. Having all of those, it changes you on a cellular level. And then you start to, you know, put on your lights that say, oh, I'm here, I'm open, I'm available, turning on that taxi light. And now the universe goes, oh, okay, I see it. Now that you're clear on what you want, you're clear on where you are, you're clear on the things that you're willing to do, the universe will start to flow in, bring you messages, bring you gifts. So now your job is to be open to receiving the gifts of the universe, trusting that they're on their way, trusting that things are aligning, trusting that you, you do your part and the universe does her part. (laughs) You do your part, the universe reciprocates. It's like this beautiful dance, right? So we have activated and opened up your channels, shifting things, altering your vibration to align you to the life that you want. And now sit back, do these little things, but just trust that everything is on its way. You are divine. You are connected. You are expressive. You are loved. You are strong. You are creative and emotionally balanced. You are safe. Safe and protected. Okay, my I'm so excited to hear about these shifts that I know are coming up for you. Please share them down below. I want to hear where you are right now. I want to hear what's going on. I want to hear the vows that you're making to yourself. Let's all support each other in manifesting this new life, shifting and changing. If you don't like the word manifestation, then you can just say, I am stepping into my new life. I am open for a change. I am ready to live the life of my dreams. I am ready for something new. I'm ready to shed my skin. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I receive. I receive. I receive. Okay. Let's seal you in with the spray. in the future, let me know. Please leave me a comment, you know, three months, six months, a year from now, and let me know how things have shifted for you. I love hearing about that because this stuff really does work and it will change your life. Okay. Sending you so much love and support. If you're interested in working with me, I will leave links down below. If you wanted to become a Reiki practitioner, all of that, I'll leave my website down below so you can work with me. All right. Sending you lots of love and I'll see you again very soon. Till then, be so well. (laughs) Namaste.
to sending that love towards you and see if you can just maybe breathe it in, fill yourself up with that gorgeous loving energy, imagine the aroma just swirling in and flowing all you are grateful. 